To start off on my video, at the offside front of the engine compartment you have your bonnet prop stick. Moving down you have two of your fasteners to hold the bonnet prop stick to the vehicle. Moving the camera down from the previous location you have your expansion tank and pressure cap. When coolant heats up, it expands, so there needs to be a location where the expanded coolant can go to. That's why you have two of your expansion lines. Below one of your expansion lines, you have your coolant supply pipe. Because the expansion tank is the only way to top up the engine's coolant system, you need the coolant supply line. Now, this is a hose clamp. A hose clamp is used to clamp the supply line to the expansion tank. Moving rearwards you have one of your chassis ground cables. Virtually any car uses its chassis as a ground for the electrical system. The reason why they do that is to minimize wiring. In the rear offside front of the engine compartment you have your integrated brake actuation unit. In hybrid vehicles like this one, a special braking system is needed. On the unit itself you've got the electronic control unit, your four pipes go into each of your wheel cylinders, and other components. Moving the camera back, you can see your valve cover. Moving the camera down here, you can see one of your actuators for your variable valve timing system. This actuator is used to actuate the inlet camshaft. Moving the camera right, you have your dipstick. Now a dipstick in an engine is used to check how much oil you have left in the oil sump. Oil in an engine is absolutely critical because it lubricates all of the moving components. Without it, you would have a disaster. Now this is a component where if you were going to remove the engine, this is where you can attach one of your hooks for the engine crane. Down here you have one of your engine mount brackets. On the bracket itself you have HEV which stands for Hybrid Electric Vehicle. Now the reason why manufacturers put lettering on their engine mount brackets is for part identification. Inside the engine mount itself you have rubber to reduce noise and vibration going into the cabin. In blue you have your washer fluid cap with neck. Typically car manufacturers will put their washer fluid tanks in the wheel well. Now this component here is what's known as a hybrid starter generator. In this car the HSG is used to not only generate electricity to charge up the high voltage battery, but it is also used, interestingly, to start up the engine. So instead of using your pancake style electric motor in between the engine and transmission, you use this to start up the engine. And because the hybrid starter generator is used to start up the engine, a special belt tensioner is used. This component is also liquid cooled. You have two pipes that take in and take out the coolant. Moving the camera back to this location, you can see your air conditioning pipes and one of your air conditioning pressure sensors. If we move the camera to this location, looking forward, you can see one of your covers that you can remove to gain access to the rear of the headlight. Also, you can see your electrical connector. When you operate the headlight switch, you tell a computer to control the headlight. Moving the camera left, you also have a other service cover to access that part of the interior of the headlight. Moving the camera to this location, you have your slam panel. On the slam panel, you have a location where you store the prop stick when not in use. 
by EU law, you must have a two-step operation to open the bonnet. So that's why you've got a other latch there to operate your safety latch. The air intake takes air from the outside of the car via the pipe to your air filter. Moving the camera back to this location, you have your high pressure air conditioning recharge valve dust cover. The reason why cars have recharge points is so you can recharge the air conditioning system when the air conditioning system refrigerant gets low. Moving the camera right and looking down you can see your fan shroud, coolant pipes, hose clamps, high voltage wiring harnesses and other components. Just behind the air intake pipe you have your electronic throttle body. Upstream from the throttle body you have your pipe that takes air to your throttle body. On the pipe itself you have your mass airflow sensor. The sensor is used to tell the engine control unit how much air is going into the engine. Moving the camera to the right hand side of the engine compartment you have your power distribution box lid. Inside there you've got fuses and relays. This box is used to distribute the power of the 12 volt system throughout the car. Located over here you have your other headlight and diagnostic connector cover. Every car manufacturer has a special diagnostic machine. This is where you would plug it in. Now this component here is your hybrid power control unit. Connected to the unit you have your wiring harness that contains your two DC cables going to and from the battery. Hybrid starter generator and electrical AC compressor wiring harnesses. Motor wiring harness and expansion tank for your hybrid power control unit thank you very much for watching my video and goodbye